Kia ora, no mai haere mai, and welcome into Napuna Wai Sports Hub. We're just slightly south of the middle of Christchurch, and yes, Napuna Wai Land of Little Springs, and we're here for the South Island Secondary School Premiership Hockey Tournament. And it is between the Battle of the South today. First match up is Columba College and Craighead Dyson. So a lot to look at for both these teams. They have played each other already this year, about a month ago, and Columba prevailed two to one. Joining me in commentary today is former Olympic, always an Olympic hockey coach, former New Zealand captain, captain coach, Pat Barwick, and the Columba College side, Pat. As you've seen a bit of the hockey during this week so far. What have you been excited about in the Columba College lineup? Oh, Marina, good morning, Leslie. Uh, great to be here on such a beautiful day as well. Uh, Columba College, well, they've uh, come out of the Dunedin area and, of course, um, have had uh, a, a slower start, perhaps, but certainly um, have some good talent out there and we'll be looking forward to see this match because they're going to go head-to-head -head pretty close, I think. Yeah, it will be a close one, and Craig here, Dyson as well. Well, they probably would have liked to have put a couple more goals in the net. 14-year-old Nora Quigley in goal. She'll certainly come under a bit of pressure today. And when you look to at... Uh, 16, Olivia Jackson, watch up front for number 15, Emily Jane Glucas, and the left midfield, Eve Hislop, wearing number three. So the two sides now, just the always the pre-match exchange of greetings. Of course, once the whistle goes, it'll be all on. And, well, talking of the whistle today, blowing the game, you've got the deets there. We have got Caitlin Young and Kaylin Prisk. So a couple of young umpires looking to get up the ladder with the whistle. Yes, both of them are quite experienced, Leslie, in terms of tournament hockey. They've been out to a number of age group tournaments, so I think we'll see good control of the game today from these two. So that's Columba College on screen now, wearing white with the orange socks. And they did have a great start to the week, a 6-4 win over Lincoln High. They were down 3-0, in fact, in that match, so they've faced a bit of adversity, came back, took the game, but they had a pretty tough match yesterday against Christchurch Girls High who are undefeated and looking in very good form at the South Island Secondary School Premiership Hockey Tournament and they will start with the ball Columba so they are going from right to left on your screen Craighead Dyson they started the week two big losses both are having to come up against Girls High and St Andrews but then they rebounded with a win over Lincoln yesterday so we're underway and they have got some very good players in their side as well, but just how quickly they can get into the game. And Craighead now down their left flank, trying to make some progress forward. But already a change in position. And that was a very frosty start, but beautifully sunny now. And I'm sure that this match will heat up as the players get into their work. A lot of talk out in there, and of course that's what they've got to do, Pat. Get the communication going. Absolutely, yes. Just sort of easing into the game at this point. Straight away, good to see the use of the back and around. Opens the game up. Oh, great dispossess, but no one to pass to. Looking for the front runner striker. So we'll see between the two 22s in this midfield area that the ball's in now, there'll be quite a lot of possession turnover as they seek to get into this all-important area that we're in now, the 22, and making good progress up the right. Off it goes. And will they go forward? No, they'll opt to go back, will Columba. Across the middle. Emily Brosnahan wearing 13 shirt, can't get the shot through, but she's a key part of the direction of Columba, and she's dispossessed. Taking the ball forward. Need to get that entry into the circle, but so far they've remained stoic, have Craig here. They'll be realising that they'd like to get one back after the 2-1 loss earlier in the year at the quadrangular, the traditional quadrangular. Yeah, it's very tight, Pat, early on. They'll know each other's play well, both these teams. Yes, I think that's right. We won with the, in the South Canterbury area, of course, and one in Otago, but they, they will have played, as we, as we heard, and uh, probably over the years have played a number of matches in, in total. So Absolutely. They'll yeah. be familiar with their style, so they'll take a little while to check each other out. 
So that, in fact, was a pretty good touch finder for Craighead, and Columba now are going to have to find some space up their left flank and get that ball out of this deep 22. And that's a very good exit ball. Um, dangerous, so it has been pulled up. So anything that goes basically mid-calf up above that will be pulled up. Yes, they're pretty strong on safety in a game at this level, so it's important for everyone. Ooh. A big drive out, so that was deemed not dangerous because it went into a channel where nobody had to evade the ball. And this is a good overlap, and this is strong. So you can see what both teams are trying to achieve. Mm. You can see, you know, we've, we've got four quarters, four lots of 15. So the first quarter are looking to get their formation and their structure yes. going. Yes, a good start, and as I said, mentioned before, getting the ball back and around and opening the game up. Both teams trying to do that, and that's really good hockey. This is Angelique Peru, number 12, with some lovely 3D skills. Good Gets drive. the ball out onto her right as well. Here she is driving into the circle. Can she get the ball into the circle? Because that's the only way you can score the goal. Gets the ball across. Can she get the shot away? But the defence is good. Wow, that was promising. Excellent drive. She's got some nice little close skills, hasn't she? Yes, she has. Angelique Pago, 17 years of age. Is on the score sheet for Columba at this tournament. Tall athlete. She go out to the left this time. Call for the ball in the middle. Can they get a little touch in there? It's not out yet. Into the goalkeeper. Good save from 14-year-old. Acute angle, difficult to score from an acute angle. A long corner, always taken outside the 22. And again, that left flank is utilised. So what we noticed in the match yesterday, actually, Pat, what, looking at Columba up against Christchurch girls, they did use their left quite a lot. Yes, they did. They they tend to look to drive down that side, which is slightly um, more difficult at times, but it does pull the defence out, so that's not a bad option. I'm liking the work of Olivia Jackson in deep defence for Craighead, the skipper. She's getting some timely touches in there, looking to show her teammates that you need to be composed. So that's a hit the foot of a Columba player and they'll come away with a free hit. Free out. Free ball, ball. too. Oh. This time, what can they do with the ball? Danielle Tippett, number two. Glucas has the ball. Shot at goal. Oh, oh and then it goes. Whoa, 15. We saw her yesterday, didn't we? Worked really well. Emily Jane Glucas, 15 years of age, has opened the scoring, and it is Craig here to go ahead 1 0. It was great perseverance. She just kept going. And Shot it go. Actually, excellent. Oh, excellent oh and then it goes. Oh, I'd have to Whoa, say, so she allowed a couple of what could have been free hits, which would have stopped the play. And suddenly, uh, the game was the goal was awarded. So that was fa fabulous play in all parts. Now, what will be the reply from Columba? Columba College. Strong, good work on that right side. That might have got a bit of touch, so they're going to have to keep it in. Now, a bit of perseverance. And Emily Jane Glucas getting the ball in the back of the net has well, probably given a real boost to her teammates. I think it's probably woken them all up, Leslie, quite sharply. But, you know, was, the game was just quietly trying to develop it. I'm going to be into it now. Nice little work, interchange work down the left flank. Now looking to match up and just astray with the last pass. Well, I've had a bit to deal with, haven't they? You look at the weather, stunning on Monday, it was about 20 degrees. Yeah. Then we got down to single digits, probably around about three <laughs> degrees with the wind chill factor. Still chilly yesterday, and now we've had a very frosty start, but a beautiful sunny day. 
Yes, certainly Tuesday was a difficult day for everybody, with the rain as well as the cold. We certainly can see what Columbia College are trying to set up. And keeping the ball in play, just rebounding off the stick a wee bit far to control it. And that definitely gets the stick. Oh, they're taking their opportunities. Again, this is Glucas bursting through the middle. And sufficiently taken out. Good exit ball. They love the way that Glucas is running onto it and, and getting that 50-50 ball, putting the pressure on the defenders. Yes, they're just moving the ball quite quickly. So they're making quite a good passing game at the moment, which is catching out the the defence a little bit. But it was a good save by the keeper. Well, I guess, you know, definitely that Craig had come into the game as underdog. So mm. you're always in a good position. Got nothing to lose. Throw yeah. everything at it. And have a go. Yep. Oh, good tackle. A very clean tackle. And a good touch as well. Just need to get the connections a bit more, Columbia. The individual skills are very good, like that. And this time mopped up. We've got some lovely close ball and stick skills. Angelique Peru. She's a strong player. She's done some very good defending already this morning. And I need to push up here, Columba, if they are to get back on even terms. 1-0 to Craighead. First quarter. Oh, need to put pressure on here. Again, caught out on the left-hand side. Beautiful stick work in there, looking for a corner, looking for the shot at goal, it's wide and the corner will be awarded. And of course if you're watching this and you're not sure about a penalty corner as opposed to the long, you could explain that, Pat? Yes, well the ball's taken to the back line and needs to be injected, as they say, into the circle from there. And usually about the 10 out from the goal mouth. And it comes out to the top of the circle where it has to go out of the circle before it can be put back in to score a goal. So generally it's stopped by another player at the top of the circle and then a striker will hit the ball. So they've got two brackets at the top of the circle. You can see two players bending over their sticks this time are going to go for a deflection from the all-important penalty corner set piece play. Still with the ball in the circle and they're needing to clear it out. Good exit ball yeah. from Craighead into the free player and it's Glucas again I think. Yes it is. She has been in everything. Emily Jane Glucas Got the ball again for Craig, who's now contesting position. Working hard together, the team in green. Oh, that oh. needed to be trapped, didn't it? Mm. Just a little bit quick, maybe. Excellent pass out, really changing the point of defence, uh, of attack. Maddie Flores gets her sideline hit cut off. Nice work, some great work, some real hunger being shown by the Craighead team. Nicole Arundel wearing seven. Love the switch across by Columba, using the width of the field out onto the right. But again, Pat, it's that last pass, isn't it? Yes, it's uh, just going astray at, at the last moment because they're building up quite well. And And again, they're showing good patience in yes. terms of just trying to keep position. Oop. Oh, again, Glucas is in the money. Look at her, busying herself. What a little energizer. And going to take the free hit into the circle now. That will hit the back of her teammate's leg. How exciting, isn't it, at this age group to see players coming through and really showcasing the skill level. Yes, the level of skills is um, always good to see the young players being able to achieve those really essential skills, being able to do a good left to right to be the player and receive the ball more tightly so that they can do the next thing, because that's what it's about. Um. Right, 
Flaws has it again. Now it looks for that middle ball, looking to get the ball out right. She's got the overlap player if she wants it, doesn't use it. Shows the long option. Yep. Nice skills, that left to right. You talked about 3D skills. Taking quickly, that's what we love about the game. There's no mucking around. By my reckoning, there's about five minutes left in the first quarter. But the umpires have control of the timing. Now, yeah, what can they do? Looking for the middle of the circle to exert the most pressure on the defence. Again, Peiru with the ball. Gets it in behind. Taken quickly. It's got to move five before she can have a shot. Just put it too far off a stick. So you, you need your teammates more close around you. So you don't have to do all the work yourself. Yeah, it's quite a technical rule there about not being able to just deliver the ball straight into the circle, so you do have to find someone to play with, or you do the auto pass, of course, exactly. which you're allowed to carry off on your own now. Didn't happen like that in our day, Leslie. <laughs> well, we were <laughs> playing in muddy fields, Pat. <laughs> <laughs> this is magnificent advancement in the game, playing on artificial turfs. <laughs> Here's another good passing move. Oh, look, this is the pace of the game has uh, really stepped up, hasn't it, in the last few minutes. And one gets the impression that Columbo has been stung by that conceding the early goal. This will be a green card, which is a two-minute automatic stand-down. I think it was because of the little bit um, harsh back tackle onto the stick. So Hannah Cormick takes a two-minute break. And Columba pay with 10 for a couple of minutes. Players are used to it. Maddie Floors. Again, look at that pressure that front runner puts on, that lone defender. She's working very hard. She's doing a great job there. 1-0, Craighead lead. Goal to Emily Jane Glucas. Good, good brave switch of play there. Bringing the ball right across the other side. Well, that is the end of the first quarter. Well, interesting, absorbing. And it is Craighead Tyson who come away with the 1-0 lead. So how, do you, how would you sum up the first 15, Pat Barwick? Well, definitely trying each other out when they have played only, what, a couple of weeks ago and had, had a 2-1 result. Um, definitely, definitely the... Um, the game has started to open up, with, you know, they're, they're, and let's face it, Leslie, they're all on telly today and therefore they're a little bit anxious at the beginning of the game. And so there was a few errors that perhaps we couldn't, you know, they're ironing out now, they're starting to find each other around the field. And so both teams are really showing their, their enthusiasm to try and get up that other end and score the goals. So um, we'll, see, we'll continue to see this game evolve, I think. And of course, this is day four of uh, the South Island Premiership hockey tournament so the the legs may be wearying a little oh yes for sure i mean that you know that's it's a big tournament for any of them some of them have had two games on one of the days and uh and so yes uh, you know it's always one of the hardest days of the tournament this at this stage um they're looking okay though to me yeah. i think they're pretty energetic out there to be honest you know the good thing is i can't see any bandages you <laughs> no, know which not, it doesn't matter what sport it is yeah. usually by about day four of any tournament yeah. there's either a little prop around the knee cap or yeah, a few something, problems something around the hamstring yeah. maybe yeah. the calf muscle but not seeing anything of that and certainly the energy levels in the last few moments have been really good so they have a pretty quick break here where the coaches get an opportunity just to talk to them. It's just a, a one or two minute break, isn't it? So yeah, two minutes. They're all coming back out onto the, the field again now. So they get a longer break at half time, which is five, and four spells of 15 minutes. So we've mm. had the first, but it is Craighead through Emily Jane Glucas who are ahead by one to nil. Both... Young teams, smattering of 14-year-olds and 15-year-olds in both teams. Uh, good for the future. And we're off. Columbus 
wearing white, moving right to left. They've got a deficit beside their name. They are 1 0 down, and it's because of that player there. The just touching the ball away. 15, Glucas for Craighead. Yes. I love the width. I mean, Columba have used the width really well, getting the ball into their attacking half, which they've done now, and getting that forward pass. It looks more accurate already in the opening seconds of the second quarter. But the good thing about what Craig here have done, if the ball is rebounded off the stick at all, they've been there to pick up the ball. Yes, they put have. Put pressure on. Putting real pressure on. But it, it is good to see the, the width of the game being used so well. And I think the structure in both teams, actually, is very sound. They, you know, they know what they're doing around the back. You can see their movement, their covering of each other and their ability to get in a space so that they do receive a pass, yeah. which is essential to be able to get out of the defensive area. Yeah, and you think, you know, hockey, it's an extension of the limbs, isn't it? We've got the stick and the ball, and, and yeah. it, the accuracy required is exquisite. Oh, it certainly is. People think that it's a bit easy to play on the turf, but actually the accuracy is much harder to be honest, because the balls travel so fast. Lucas feeds the ball this time, finds the free player. Oh, it just wasn't picked up, but they're in there. They've got another chance. It's 2-0. Yeah. What a finish. That is stunning teamwork. A good team goal. Wow, they have rocked Columba College, and they are up 2-0 now, Craighead Dyson. Well, after we were wholly praising Columba College and their, their structures, it's again that loose ball, but the willingness of Craighead to get up there in numbers, assist each other. And, and a good finish. Nil. Very good finish. It was a very patient finish because she positioned herself to be able to put the ball inside of the keeper. They look hungry, don't they? Mm. They look really hungry, Craighead. Oh, here's another card. It'll be for a stick, and she knew it straight away. <laughs> Louisa Kotkamp runs off to spend two minutes on the side. Oh, a little bit aerial, but gets away with it. And it won't go over the back line, I don't think, so they will can start their attack from deep defence. Again, Glucas is in her work, and she has fired them up, Craighead. And the pace again has quickened. They've been stung, Columba, down 2-0. feel so grateful that this is on, yeah. South Island Premiership Tournament. Sadly, Absolutely. not in Auckland, it's not. And the beneficiaries of geographically where you live. This has certainly had an advantage this year, hasn't it? Yes. I Grateful that it's uh, been able to be played, that's for sure, through Hockey NZ and Sky Sport Next. Yes, I think they're just loving being here, the players all around. Here's the, the, the second park. goal. The second goal coming in. You see a really good little reverse pass there. A recovery by a player coming onto the ball again. And then clearly well placed to beat the keeper. So a well constructed goal all around. Tessa and Rolleston. Tellus, Tessa Rolleston who finished it off in a very mature way. Look how many green shirts were in that circle. Yes. Hunting the ball, hungry for more. Great support. of space in that midfield but I would not count out Columba College yet of course on that first day as we mentioned right at the beginning they were playing Lincoln High School from Christchurch they were down 3-0 Columba College and ended up winning that game 6-4 yes well so they've got proven tenacity to come back and yep. fight but that doesn't take away the good work that uh, Craighead Dyson have put in in the early stages of this match What we should point out is that neither of these two sides can make it through to the medal matches at the South Island Premiership. 
but certainly they'll want to finish as high as they can in the placings. Yes, they'll be working hard to get as high up in, in tomorrow's matches as they can. Absolutely. So there's plenty to play for, because it all like, it doesn't necessarily count next year. I think the standings are going to go on to the normal Rankin and Federation Cup, but in actual fact, it's still real for them to try and finish as high as they can to keep improving that opportunity to go to different tournaments in the future. So Columba College have got six 14-year-olds and Craighead four. So that's you, know, you look at that for the future and the longevity of what a, a coaching cycle will bring. And of course we know secondary school sport is so cyclical. Yes, yeah. Yes, that's some young players, isn't it? But, but they're uh, doing very well out here, holding their own. Both goalkeepers are 14, Leslie, I think. Yes. Is that correct? They are indeed. Yes. Yep. And one goalkeeper might be under a bit of pressure right now, but again, mopped up beautifully. Deep defence. Columba College goalkeeper, Alicia Horn, and Nora Quigley in goal for Craighead. They certainly get back in numbers and defend, don't they, Craighead? Yes, they're all doing the hard work. Uh, that's the key to trapping the ball when it comes near you. Can she keep it in the field of play? Yes, she can. Up that right flank, so difficult to defend if you're a left side. Defender oh. finds the middle beautifully. And again, just that mistrap in the circle. Good build up. Good running and a great pass infield. Mm. Oh, great work. That is fantastic. Nice long stretch. Did you keep it in again? Yes. Georgia Dynan. Gets the ball back into an important spot. Oh, penalty corner. Let's see what they can do with this. More pressure on Columba defence. A couple of good forays in there. Yes, just let's look at that corner situation again and in terms of the ball coming off the back line. It's often delivered in two or three different ways. Can be can be just pushed out, it can be dragged as we talk about it, it was, uh, or it can be hit now, even with a running approach. So it's always interesting to see what the teams are developing. But whatever they do, one foot has to remain behind the back line. So it's... Uh, right, Isabel Sharp looks like comes. number 10 in there on the spot. We'll try and get a touch. Now another shot at goal, well defended. I thought it might have come straight out to the top of the circle, top of the D, but it didn't. Yeah, it's going to be Sharp who takes the sideline. Captain, Isabel Sharp. See what they were trying to do. 2-0, Craighead over Columba. It's what you love seeing, Pat, Bowick. Yes, good confidence. Yep. Right round in front of the goal. You hear some of the parents in the crowd going, ooh. <laughs> it's because that they feel it's unsafe, but if you're confident, it's, it works. It does, and getting that ball on the right side, yep. easier to defend and, and uh, initiate the attack. Still have the ball, Craighead, looking to find, get that pass onto the stick of the players. They do, they're good and close. Get the free hit. This is the goal scorer, Rolleston. And they opt to go back before they go forward. Oh, nice little touch across. She's still got the ball. Deft little touch. Following, no. There's some great skills being shown there for the, these young players. It was a lovely gl glided, gli yes, that'd be the right word, glided ball. Yes. I just love the confidence that Craig here have come out with. Yes. They knew they were the underdogs and they've come out and taken the game. 
so far anyway. One goal back would make it really interesting. The sun bursting down onto this fantastic facility, Napuna Wai. Oh, it just shows you how important that tripping that ball higher up the field is, isn't it? Now this time, from the urgings of their spectators, Columbia College, can they keep the ball in? Yes, they can. I always think it's so difficult. They're caught, crammed up into that left pocket to try and get the ball across from there. Yes, yeah, certainly is, and takes quite a lot of skill to get it out of there, and also work with someone else, preferably. But Nice, good work, nice passing. That's three very good passes in a row at speed. So long corner. No, did it hit the foot, I think? Yes, it did, just outside. So the ball can't go directly into the circle. It has to move five yards. And yes, it is still in yards. Into the circle now. Can they get the shot away? Goal kicker comes out and smothers it, does well. Cuts the angle down. Still alive. Still having a shot and corner. More intent that time from Columba. More hungry on the ball to get that shot away, Pat. Yes, they were really quite energised in there then, really fighting for that ball to keep it inside. I feel like I'm talking out there. Let's see what they can do this time, Columba. Need to drag one back. Can they get the big shot away? Straight at goal. Swung and kept out. She's coming out quite a long way, which is very advantageous to cutting that angle down. Oh, off the post. And then they need to get it out square of... Oh, that would be a ball put up. Laura Quigley in goal doing a grand job for Craighead. under a lot of pressure from Columba who are pouring on the waves and waves of attack. A lot of energy being put in for this just before half time. Excellent. Flaws. Just hoping just to get a little touch, get a little deflection. It's handy though. It's starting to come for Columba they're trying to do good strong sweep out of defence the exit ball comes off the stick of Columba so Craighead retained position up and Ooh. over we'll see a lot more of that in the boys games they tend to use it they've got slightly superior strength to be able to get under the ball. Yes, yes, generally. There are some girls developing it more and more, but um, still a skill that is being developed in the girls' game. So the first of four matches here today. Up next, Burnside High School taking on Otago Boys. Burnside Girls then play James Hargist of Invercargill. And the oldest state school, Nelson College, taking on John McGlashan. Big hack, the hack of the stick coming over the top of the ball carrier. Really sealing off the ball now, aren't they, Columba? And just need to be a little more accurate in that 22. Yes, they're just forcing that ball into this, trying to get into the circle a bit too quickly. And need to just take another pass. Oh well, almost time. So therefore, they were just trying to hold possession. I think. Uh -oh. That is 
half time. That went really quickly, that second <laughs> yes, quarter. But what we can tell you, there is one more. It's 2-0 to Craighead Dyson. They have scored on each quarter so far. And the game has heated up, Pat. Yes, it has. And in both cases, two very good goals that came out of excellent combination play from the team. Um, and passing, building, and really forcing that ball around the, in the circle to have a good result. Yeah, so they've shown a willingness, absolutely, have Craighead to get people up on attack in numbers and work well together as a team, which is you know, it's exquisite timing that they have to have. Yeah, hockey's a, um, such a combination team game and it's important that they can uh, develop those sorts of skills to, to work together. And so you can't really be an individual in our game that much. I think, you know, you can have some... You can have stars out there, but really, in the end, uh, a good team will create a much better uh, and a more successful environment, really. Absolutely. So it is Craig here ahead of Columba 2 at half-time in the first match on day four, but let's go to Hockey New Zealand, and it is competition time! <laughs> screen if you want to play <laughs> competition time <laughs> competition time yeah that looks great it's a good fun i saw it on the on the uh, i'd rather screen be the, the other day <laughs> well you, you wouldn't be bad at it i think <laughs> oh, good Funny times that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah so what do you think the Columba coach will be saying to the girls well i think they need to just continue with being a bit patient really and because they're they're actually regaining possession more effectively they're using the back and around they're opening their game up and getting the ball up through the midfield but they're just that last pass they're anxious to get in the circle so they're often trying to hit it through a solid craighead dive defense really at the moment so just keep building and i think you know i can understand why maybe they've come back earlier in the week against goals down so it's um really positive what we've just seen in the last two or three minutes of that half i think was them coming back and for craighead what would the, what would be the message well, I think the message there would be to do more of it. You know, they're, uh, they're showing a lot of energy and they're really putting pressure on the defence by their hard workload. I mean, they're putting the energy and they're putting the pokes and jabs in trying to unsettle the the, defen the uh, Columba defences. They're building out of, the, out of their defence and out of their circle and they're winning the ball over it often because of that pressure. So uh, I'd say more of the same and I'd say just, you know, but, but keep it wide and keep that sort of opening up of the... Columbia defence so they can get their runs through the middle because that's what they're good at. Yep, it is. It is about the word pressure, isn't it? Mm. They have certainly pressurised the deep defence and, uh, you know, especially that first goal, Emily Jane Glucas, and she just kept beavering away and kept believing in herself, poking the ball through mm. and getting the ball in while it wasn't the most venomous shot in the whole wide world, but how often can they, those kind of balls upset? You know, you're expecting a big hit, mm -hmm. and then, but it was an acute angle. It was very well placed. Yes, I thought it was a very good choice of, of um, goal s scoring because uh, quite often young players would get excited at that moment and just give a, have a big swing of the stick and look for the big crash. But in fact, she just placed the ball beautifully past the goalkeeper on, on the angle and it was really good. Mm -hmm. And I don't know whether the Columba goalkeeper is right or left footed, but it's usually most people are right handed and right footed. So mm. putting to the goalkeeper's left makes it more difficult to save on an acute angle. Yes, yes, often that'll be the case. Right, looks like we're back in business for the third quarter, and the work is all ahead of Columba College. Hey, Columba, based on the Presbyterian faith, they have year 7 to 13, about 600 pupils, 100 boarders. Oh, wow. And then Timaru's Craighead Dyson, just under 400 state integrated Anglican school, about a third are boarders. So there's a lot of um, yes. families, obviously, in central Otago, in the land of Timaru, farming families who send their daughters in to boarding school. And, and as we know in New Zealand, a lot of the exquisite sporting talent comes from those rural areas. Absolutely. So they, they do benefit from that contribution from the country areas. So that's, you know, that's the bulk of their group, I would think. Well, there's the hooter for the start of the third quarter. Of course, the team swap ends. 
after two quarters. So it's now Columba in the white and orange going from left to right to get the ball in early. And that's promising. Again, from originates from their left side. We spotted a nice wee gap. Did she pick it up? Not quite. Good running, though. There's a lot of talking, especially from the Craighead players, trying to seal off this ball. Drives hard up that right flank for Craighead. They're certainly coming under more pressure now from Columba. They've used the middle a lot, haven't they, as the exit ball out of defence? Yes, they have. It's um, it's good courage, actually, yes. but it's it, because it offers you the opportunity to open up to either side after that, which is a whole extra pass, really. She's a good player. Number seven for Craig, Nicole, a 17 year old, Nicole Arundel. Got some nice 3D skills as well as very close stick work. It's good stuff too, three passes. Lucas gets the ball away up front, finds free player out on that right flank. Drives the ball in, catches a stick along the way. And a penalty corner, stick hack. Again, it was just that pressure on that receive, wasn't it? And uh, the, the, the poke jab of the, of the um, Craighead player was able to just put that extreme pressure in there. How mm. easy is it when you just get four passes, the structure up that right side, mm. and in for a shot. Now, of course, this penalty corner set-piece area should be a key part of any yes. team's armoury in terms of trying to score goals. This time it is going to Isabel Sharp. Slaps the ball towards the goal, gets a little touch, and the goalkeeper, it's number three. Look at that. Down once, they pounce, Craighead. And a nice bit of work. Again, fine, fine skills in close. 50-50 ball, won by Craighead, and they go ahead 3 to nil. And and the replay just showing that the, it's a trap and a shot by the player at the top of the circle and then touched in. And I was just trying to find the number of that player, but I think it was that same. You think it was Tessa Ralston again? Yes, I think it may have, well, it may have been. All right. I'll get that confirmed. But the most important scoreline is the top one, and it's Craighead 3, Columba 0. Sharp, lovely low tackle, but couldn't keep the second player coming out. Three no, Pat Barwick. Yes, it's a surprise, I think, uh, to some extent. And uh, but I think looking at the game, that's probably pretty much gone the way the game's yep. been looking. Certainly, the energy's been put in by the. Craighead players. Oh, that's a great body position to drive the ball up the field and right into the defensive territory for Columba. That is an excellent exit. I mean, the corner itself then was one of those, the result of that funny bouncy ball that gets in there amongst the players. It's hard for the keeper to see it and follow it, but it was well finished in the end. With them putting pressure on that deep defence. You've got two Craighead players in that circle worrying the defenders with the ball. But they've got rid of it. Nice pass. Really finding each other. A lovely bit of stick work again from Rolleston. Strong on the ball, Craighead, haven't they been? That's been a feature, how they've kept possession. But that's where you need your teammates. You might get through a couple of players, but the third one perhaps not without the help of a teammate. Now, what can Columba do with this this time? Where's it gone? This is up off a defender there, so it'll be a free hit to Columba outside. Yeah, best to blow early before anything dangerous comes of it. Mm. 
Now the skipper, what can she do with the ball? Offloads into passed. the circle now. Long corner. Geez, they've worked hard, Craighead. They have. They've all back hassled. There. They're all back there again. Yep. Hassled and harried. Just again. not quite meeting each other. But the idea was good. Well, they're shutting down the options, aren't mm -hmm. they, Craighead? Mm -hmm. You know, we're used to seeing the first goal scorer, Emily Jane Glucas, in the middle. Well, she's come out now out to the left. The ball's over on the right. And look at the space. Nothing better than seeing someone flying down that right flank, ball in front of them. Nice pass. Used each other beautifully, haven't they? Look no. at that. Yes, an excellent give and go there just to beat the defender. Keeping it simple. Really good good options. You just see the confidence sort of exuding off the players. You know, here's the ball, little yeah. pass, soft hands, doesn't need to be a smash pass. Working together. Columba have done well to get the ball over to their right this time. But they're under pressure. Cut off, Lucas. And the action always, she seems, whether she's attacking or defending. Yes, Columbus still sticking to their guns. They're trying to keep their structure and just be patient and build the ball around. They're just still missing that last pass, which would give them the chance to get through into the circle and have opportunities. More intent from Columba this time. And again, it's Glucas who dispossesses them. They no sooner make a couple of passes forward, Columba, than they're dispossessed. But if they've got an opportunity now, again out on the high left flank, three players in the circle, lovely twist and around, but again, the ball exited beautifully. This is where you need someone screaming up on the right like this. Excellent hockey, that's what you want. Again, it's untidy, isn't it? Just when you need it to be accurate and the ball on the end of the stick. And a good release. Yes, it's, it's just, just, they're just missing each other there at that last pass. If we can tidy that up, they'll be looking dangerous. I think I saw during the week that, that, that they do just play with a, a, a level of calmness, really, and just keep playing their routines stay with their routines at uh, Columba. It's probably why they've come back sometimes and had good success, but today it's not quite working for them because they're being hassled so much. Well, it's hard to play catch-up anything, isn't it? Mm. Lucas over on the right this time. Boy, she moves around. <laughs> She's covered some, <laughs> some turf in this match, isn't she? Oh. It's hard luck. So that'll be a long again, the long corner being the, the newer, one of the newer rules in our game, isn't it? In terms of taking the ball back to the 22. It's been a good innovation, hasn't it? It's cleaner, less oh, dangerous. So much more effective and so much better than in keeping the game going. Yes. yes. Oh. A good tussle. There hasn't been much whistle, has there? It's no, it's been very, very well good. managed, to be yes. honest. I think um, Caitlin Young and Kaylin Prisk. They're both umpires from South, aren't they? Timaru, maybe? Yes, one from Timaru and um, Kaylin from Dunedin and umpiring in the Otago Premier competition, so they're pretty experienced as well. Probably know these players pretty well. Yes, they would. the options. She's oh, trying to find her up front again. 
the intent is certainly there. They can see the options, but just not quite able to find them. Okay, well, the skipper, number 14 of Columba, Nikita Peterson Solomon, you know, she looked up then, but all she could see was a green sock. <laughs> yes. ball split the defense structure oh and free running player can she get the ball away inside dive wow Great from fun. A very good build up from behind halfway as you say Liz it's two or three passes and you can be up at the other end scoring having a shot at goal and that's all it takes at times confidence one on one you've got to have those skills to beat your it's player. a great ball yeah. just couldn't quite manage it uh, she did all the right things Phoebe O'Donnell 15 for Columba but just collected it on her leg Well, you can often tell with close quarters who wants the ball the most, who's going to get the 50-50. And I think you'd have to say today, so far anyway, that Craig Head has done that. He's definitely winning in that area of the stats, I think. Oh, that is a stunning left to right, isn't it? Under all sorts of pressure and deep defence. Wow. exits the ball that's being picked off reading the game better now the urgency is all with Columba I've got someone there goalkeeper does well actually I think she's done very well in the game so far it's a good opportunity cutting the angle down comes out quite a long way for Craighead in goal Nora Quigley Suddenly quite a lot of energy then from Columba. They could feel that they were up there and having opportunity and created two or three chances, really. Yes, and they've had players up there responding. Yep. In that one phase of play, and she, they, they really put some effort in there. So you've got Emily Brosnahan, number 13, waiting to hit the ball. Yes, it will be her who slaps her. Trying to get a little oh. deflection, and they, again, look how far the goalkeeper's come out. Yes, to shut down and smother the angle. Yes, she did, did really well again because they were looking for that side, side, uh, left side in, in, injection there. Now, uh, Craighead just starting to get a little bit tired as Columba pour on the pressure. Couple of missed traps. Into free space. Hard. Good idea. Now into the circle. She's delivering some nice ball there. Uh, their big centre mid midfielder there, or centre defender, coming forward and, and trying to put some better ball up to the front players. Slight change of their methodology. Well, that could work, but. Um, sealed off the ball Columba had up in there halfway but now it's back with Craighead 3-0 Craighead lead goals in every quarter so far yes they have very consistent oh, Lucas again through the middle putting pressure on they do well in deep defence Columba come away with the ball to get one back Columba they really need to start looking at that deficit pouring converting the pressure that they've exerted over the last five minutes again it's just there's the Huda for three-quarter time 
But even in that little patch there, you could see that they were marking the space so well, Craig Head, and it made it difficult for Columba to get the ball through. But that's three-quarter time, and it is Craig Head three, Columba nil. Yes, there's a, a little bit of show there at the end that Columba was uh, getting desperate now, really realising the game was going right away from them. Uh, if they've had results where they've recovered from behind, maybe there was a bit of expectation. Um, now they're trying to make it happen, so yes, that's a good sign. It is a good sign. Um, and I think, again, you know, they're quite deliberate with their structure, so they try to keep, um, you know, keep doing what they're doing rather than changing too much, but certainly bringing Emily uh, up into the... Uh, centre a little bit more, a little bit more strongly and starting to deliver the ball from that player as um, their centre midi um, is helping to get better ball into the circle. So we may be interested to see what happens in this next quarter, which is the last one, of course. So yes. they have to do it now. They do. The pressure is on. They've got 15 minutes, Columba, to right the wrong. Remember, you told you right at the beginning of the match they have met already once this season, and that was in the traditional annual quadrangular. And it was Columba who beat Craighead 2-1 in what was a fairly close match. But they have certainly turned this on their head, Craighead. They've come out and they have steamed it. They have pressurised, hassled, harried, taken their opportunities. Yes, it, hasn't, it perhaps hasn't been expected by Columba because I, I keep feeling often that they have time but they're holding the ball just a little bit too long, and by then they're really being jabbed and poked and, and hassled, and so they're getting caught. The ball's deflecting away from the defender stick because they're getting closer. And if they just moved at that fraction earlier, they would be able to use the space that's out there. Right, 15 minutes. Craighead with possession. Again, it's just that lovely left to right stick that we're seeing in close confines, which is really attractive, isn't it, from those players? It's an absolute necessary skill in hockey. Uh, right from the beginning, you want to have all your players being able to execute a very good left to right dodge, as, we, as, it, as it basically is, um, to be able to manage the ball well, particularly in tight situations. It's having the confidence to to go through with it, as you yes, say. Yes, yes. Especially if someone's steaming right at you. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> it doesn't matter if it's a attacker or a defender. Defenders have got to have it, as we saw earlier in the game. Oh, Here's another pass away. Here's another chance. Open goal opportunity. Can she put it? Yes, make it four. Why not? Oh, wow. They have found the net. They know where the goal is. Craighead splits open the Columba defence once again. Great and pass from Sharp. Great forward option, and then early bowl again to the player entering the circle, and a good finish. Clearly, um, that that second last pass was so classical. If it had been a slow ball, uh, it, it would not have made it to her. But Tessa Rolleston, the scorer there, again, mm, again. Well, She's done I mean, really well today. We are not the official timekeepers or um, <laughs> what do you call them, technical officials. But I think that that could be a hat trick. It might well be. We weren't quite sure on one of them, were no, we? No, so that's right. So we'll, yeah. I'm sure they'll just want it to be a team goal, but mm. that is stunning if that's the case. It was a great example, again, of just keeping that ball going forward and putting that pressure on as the defenders are turning. Because if you're constantly turning, you can, it's very difficult to be tackling as well. Obviously, Columba had got to the point where they were having to push forward and pushing forward well, but um, and got caught really with just not quite the numbers at the back again. Oh, that leaves you exposed, mm. doesn't it? Mm. When you do that, four nil. It's quite a turnover, isn't it? It is. It is. I was thinking of you know, in all the years that these great traditional rivals have played matches, are usually extremely tight tussles. Oh, look at the pressure. They, I mean, they mm. don't. It, it's mm. Columba that have to be the initiators here. They have and to make the move. Yeah, they do. And and uh, 
Craighead are able to sit back and intercept and put the pressure on because they have made the play. They are in the box seat. Yes, they just seem to be struggling to find their rhythm at all now. Columba, they just uh, obviously a bit despondent perhaps now. They realise they're not going to get back to this game. But certainly um, Craighead I really have played very well today and they certainly deserve to be where they're at. Sweep across the turf. Might have caught a little foot. Strong, composed. Yeah. Again, it's that intent, keeping position and waiting for the cavalry. Sharp. That's good work too from Columba. Really strong on the ball. Wanting it. Angelique Peru. We've already seen her in that first quarter. She was very prominent for Columba. Oh, that is out of nowhere. They've picked up well. the goal. An acute angle. I think they're looking to see, did it hit, get hit inside the circle? That's the question that's being asked. Let's have a look. Yes, I was just going to look here at the replay. And it looks like, oh, Whoa. it looked mm, close, but I'd say it may have been just on the line, but a pretty close one, but it's been given and awarded, so that's 1-4 now. And here's a bit of pressure coming again from Colombo. They're certainly not giving up, which is fabulous. They're putting their energy in. What well, I can say, again. though, that we have been in touch with the bench, and Louisa Kotkamp was the last goal scorer for right. Craighead, so we want to be accurate. Uh, yes, we were. A lovely Is ball it? forward. 4-1. Four, oh, no, that was Kotkamp for Columba. We're looking to find the goal now. scorers for, um, oh, yeah. for Craighead. So Kotkamp. Has got one back for Columba. Yeah, they're firing up, aren't they, Columba now? They're certainly, certainly trying to put a little bit more pace into their game. Oh, that's Isabel Sharp delivered that and got a clap for it from the spectators as well. Sealing the ball off, lovely, accurate and simple skills. There's a skill you was new in the game as well, Leslie, isn't it? Receiving yep. the ball out of the air with a stick. Yep. And uh, that was well done, actually, well brought down, pretty safely. Of course, most players, if, if you're the opposition player and the ball's in the air now, know that they've probably got to retreat somewhat yes, to not well make it dangerous. Certainly stay back. They can't go in and take a, have another go at it, like two jumpers jumping for a high ball in rugby or something. You can't really do that. Well, good use of the faster back in around this time. Has that been one of the um, learnings probably for Columba? Is, you know, the, the pace of the game that they got caught out a little bit early by Craighead getting into the game and putting that pressure on early? I think you're absolutely right. I think that's been, for me, what it's looked like all the time. They're just sort of half a pace of holding the ball that fraction longer, and by the time they release it, it's being pressured. So it was never quite going where they wanted it to go, being touched away or, or regained too easily. Speed here out on the right. They'll mm. keep possession, Craighead, but mm. just moving the ball through the midfield at speed. Yes, I mean, it's been solid, a solid structure, and using the back and around and moving the ball, but not quite quick enough. Just needs to go still quickly, otherwise it doesn't take advantage of using the space when you, when you get there. 
Well, lots of talk still, plenty of breath left to give instructions as to where they want the ball carried out up through into the left side of the circle. Ooh, ooh a big speculative swing. Nice touch, and we'll drive the ball in now, says Craighead, looking to catch a foot. And clean defending in the end by Columba. Sideline hit. Oh, there we go. Hard drive into the circle. Yeah, good defender's ball. Well, she held on to that strongly that time. Oh, here's a bounce of the ball for them. If they can just touch it on. Oh, she's still there. Oh, she's trapped it dead this time. Can she get the shot away? And well cleared by Quigley and goal. Good energy, they've still got it. Look, the captain's back there, just keeping the ball out of trouble. Oh, one on two. Can they? It's a really yes. good. Yes. Oh. oh. <laughs> good creation. Keeping the best till last, Columba. <laughs> yes, they're, uh, as I said, not giving up, so it's a great attitude. Again, I've got to commend the goalkeeper, Nora Quigley, Quigley for... Craighead because she because of the angles and how far out she's coming from her line she's snuffing out making it harder for that ball to go in it means you have to be so accurate with your shot in yes and also for her accurate with her angle so yes. that she is covering that that, that shot so. even now the, the ball on halfway she's mm. you know halfway mm. between the the seven yard spot and the back line yeah. that's good brave stuff and she yeah. might be under a bit more pressure in a moment as well her, boy, they are pouring the pressure on Columba. Again, goalkeeper came right out onto the player who was going to receive the ball. Yes, yeah, she's, she's great. A young 14-year-old, she's got some good hang of it. Knows where a goal is. Yes. Most important position on the field, of course, goalkeeper. <laughs> Are you saying that, Leslie? <laughs> Now, what can Columba do with this? Catch a foot, no. And coming under sustained pressure now, the defence of Craighead. Look at them all up over halfway except for the Columba goalkeeper. Another opportunity coming in from the wide angle. But the defence. Mm -hmm. Got a long. Sucking mm -hmm. it up. Long corner, still Columba ball. Carrying the ball well. Doing it all herself up that right flank. Look how quick. And the players are having to back pedal so fast. I don't think she can do that. She cannot hit the ball straight into the circle from the from the free hit inside the 22. So that's a turnover to Columba. Oh. She read it well, didn't she, Glucas? Yes. She's still working very hard. And she has the whole match. Again, her pressure's delivered them a free hit outside the circle, so it's all that energy that's put in. they do now build up from wow that is very brave going from right to left spreading it out but then it does give the opposition an opportunity to intercept but you'd be loving that Pat yes I do I, they just needed an inside option there because obviously the the line was covered but and she just tried to hit straight down the line but they just needed an, an inside option so she could go in and out and beat that line but uh, they're just some of the things they're not quite seeing uh, at this stage but on the whole, they're really trying to work yes. on their pattern and keep it going. Again, 
the reliable left to right dodge and yeah. another one two in a row two different players and they keep the position left to right strong right hand right side of the field So as all the press is on the defender now to exit the ball out of here. Oh, free hit, but they've got the ball. Yep. <laughs> Ooh, good try. It. She saw her early and moved it on quickly. There's only approximately one minute to go, so here's a see if Columba can get one more goal back. Could make a difference in their uh, positional last position for tomorrow's games. Goal difference makes a difference, so could be quite critical. Here they go, having a try, getting the ball into the circle. Not quite. Another opportunity. Look, it looked to me like the Columbus attitude in this last period has really shown that maybe another goal is going to change their positional place for tomorrow. So they've been working really hard these last couple of minutes to try and get another goal. Well, what we can tell you is that you know, even my eyes aren't as great as they used to be, Pat. So <laughs> we'll... <laughs> The official scorers tell us that for Craighead, number six, Lydia Giles, has scored the first and the fourth goal. Yes. And that is the fourth, that is full time here in the first match on day four at the South Island Premiership, secondary school hockey. And Lydia Giles took two goals, Tessa Rolleston won the second goal, and Nicole Arundel the third goal. So that's four to one. Craighead have overturned Columba College in the first match of four here at Napunawai in Christchurch.